something more on that long list? You've also been talking a lot about um, vibration versus action and how vibration, vibrational choices and then inspired action when you, take the time, to when you take the time to tune in, to feel your way into alignment, then the action that is most appropriate will occur to you. And by most appropriate, we don't even mean will bring you the most results because when you're tuned in, the results are coming. We mean the action that has the potential of giving you the greatest joy on your way to where you want to be. That means a lot to me because it means a lot of prior behaviors from a marketing experience that I've had in a prior life, I sort of throw out the window. And instead, I'm tuning in to well, my here's feelings. Well, here's the thing. We don't want you to throw anything that you've lived out the window ah. because all of it is part of why you've got this thing going on over here in vibrational oh, escrow. Okay. In other words, all of it counts for a lot. Hmm. So you're not throwing it out the window. You've just amended it to be different than it started out. That's sort of like going on a 2,000 mile journey. Jerry and Esther are getting ready to do it. They're going to shoot all the way across the nation in the next few days. And as they begin, the beginning miles are necessary before the ending miles. In other words, they're not going to try to miss the beginning miles and just do the ending miles. It's all part of the process. But when they get there, they will appreciate the beginning miles as much as the ending miles because it's all part of the process. Yes? Yeah. The best story that we have about that is a woman, there are two stories. A woman moved from the East Coast to the West Coast, an artist, wanting to make her way in Hollywood, and she was very good. And she had a portfolio that she had been gathering over a long period of time. Once she got there, someone broke into her car and stole her portfolio. So now she is so unhappy because she believes that the physical representation of who she is as an artist was now stolen. Sort of like she didn't throw it all away, it just went away. And now she was worried that she couldn't present herself properly. And we said, that portfolio does not physically represent who you now are anyway. You've moved way past that painting and that one and that one and that one and that one. We said, show up and be who you are now and see if who you are now resonates with what they're looking for. The other story, equally wonderful, a man had amassed a fortune in a venture. He had an empire built around him and financial tide turned and he lost it all. And now he is saying to us, I'm too old to start over. I was very young when I started that and now I'm too old to start over. And we say, you didn't lose your vibrational vantage point. You haven't lost your point of attraction. All you lost was the evidence of your point of attraction. But most of that evidence didn't have anything to do with your now point of attraction anyway. And now this latest experience has catapulted you into a whole new place. When you become in sync with who you really are, the abundance will avalanche into your experience. It's not a progressive thing. It's an in the moment response to the vibration that you're offering now. Do you get that? You're not accumulating good points and then being rewarded like with airline frequent flyer miles. It's not like that at all. In this moment, you're offering a vibration and the universe is matching you with the signal, period. In this moment, you're offering a vibration. Now, we acknowledge that your vibration is multi-layered, multi-faceted, has a lot to do about a lot of different things, but you're offering a signal and everything that you are living and all the manifestations that you see are vibrational indicators of that signal that you are offering. So that's why if we were standing in your physical shoes, oh, we would feel appreciation of everything that we have lived because in that appreciation, you allow yourself to be a vibrational match to where you're going. But we would be forward looking, not looking backward. We'd be forward looking and eagerly anticipating the unfolding of the, the details of what's now in vibrational escrow. And when you think about it, now here's another way to hear this. So, all along, every day, you've known what you don't want and you've known what you do want. 
What do you think source energy focuses upon in that equation? What you do want. Know what you don't want, know what you do want. So what you do want, what you do want, what you now want, now what you now want. Oh, the new decision, the new decision, the new decision. Each of them being blended, morphing into this amended, evolving version of who you are. Up to date, always up to date and fully resourced by the source energy that creates worlds. Can you feel the power of that? Ooh, who you are is so big and, and so vibrationally active, who you really are. And it's your work to tune into that. And that's why we teach rampages of appreciation. It's why we encourage you to make lists of positive aspects. It's why we encourage you to do your best to feel good as much as you can, because that's, that's what's waiting for you. The, the full blown, manifestational indicator of everything that you've lived now think about it did you just start living when you got here in this body hardly you'd been living long before you got here so all of this source energy that is you has come full circle and added to it along the way everything that you wanted the stuff you learned on the playground the stuff you learned in the office the stuff you learned in school the stuff you knew about your parents that you didn't like the stuff you knew about your friends that you didn't like it's all caused you to become 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 and now you are this huge energy of source calling the physical part of you forward now doesn't this make you wonder in other words are you getting a, a sort of glimpse into the reason that you would want to participate on a physical basis not just that you're giving birth to expanded universe or expanded beingness but because there is no experience in all of the universe more delicious than the physical ride on the wave of that expansion there is nothing more delicious than to get to live the physical details of that expansion it just doesn't get any better than that that's why we love it when somebody antagonizes you into expansion even when you're holding to the agony of the antagonism, <laughs> we're excited about the expansion because we know in a moment when you're not beating the drum of what went wrong, you're going to have a nice ride. Yes. Thank you so much.